Hello everybody, it's Anna here again today. Sorry it's been a while since we've uploaded, but some of you will know that we've been out camping and we love to go out camping whenever we get the opportunity and while our kids are occupied, we enjoy going out and waking up in a field. We just love it. So here we are anyway, we're back and we're at Better Sequoid here in Snowdonia, which is in North Wales. And Better Sequoid has been voted the UK's top holiday destination so come with us as we show you around and learn some welsh history and maybe some welsh language if we have time you're very very welcome don't forget welcome in welsh is croeso better sequoid originated around a small monastery during the 6th century and until the rise of lead mining in the 19th century it was a small village with an agricultural economy and a former owner of team maurwen brand near better sequoid called william morgan was the first person to translate the complete bible into welsh in the 15th 80. So that's what's really interesting about this area and it is situated in the Snowdonia National Park near where Avon Llygwy joins Avon Conway and it was founded around, like I said, a monastery in the late 6th century. And today Better Sequoia derives its main income from outdoor tourism thanks to the many forests, rivers and waterfalls dotted around this beautiful landscape it's one of our very very favorite places and has been since as far back as i can remember i've come here for so many years and um we still keep coming back it's not too far from our home better sequoid translates as prayer house in the woods and this very pretty place in the Conway Valley was once home, like I said, to a monastery during the 6th century, though any evidence of a religious bearing uh, from that has long since gone. But the abbots who settled here chose their location well, close to the river Conway within the tranquil Gwydr Forest Valley, which is a fertile and a quiet landscape. The backdrop for their peaceful existence must have been unbelievably beautiful and in the 13th century Edward I, naughty King Edward of England, stumbled across this village while plotting a route through the newly conquered region to the coast and it is said that the English naughty king deployed 1,000 woodcutters, woodcutters sorry, to clear the way through the valley, exposing the village for the first time to the wider world. Sorry, my voice is going again. I've had a bit of a cold. But um, yes, I think you got that okay, didn't you? Naughty Edward the First. Um, in a way, he, he made it good for us <laughs> uh, and showed off what was really here. By the 18th century, the village was a popular coaching stop, as it is today, because coach trips come from all over and people come from all over the world to see better sequoid. But anyway, the community grew as local quarries provided work for slate, copper and lead mining. And the English aristocracy was the next to discover the fairy tale aspect of the area when the grand tour travels overseas were halted by the Napoleonic Wars, Snowdonia offering a beautiful alternative to the continent. As such, this forested area was to earn itself a nickname as Little Switzerland. We are at St Michael's Church now, which is a Grade 2 listed building dating back to the 14th century and situated on the banks of the Avon Conway. It's the oldest building in Better Sequoid and these three huge yew trees in its churchyard are thought to be around 1,000 years old. And the church stands on the site of the original Betus, that's prayer house, that gave the village its name. So here we are inside the church. Where as we walk around, you'll see the star of the show, which is the stone effigy of Grivid Ap David Goch, grandson of David, the brother of Llewellyn Ap Grivid, the last native prince of Wales. Now, Grivid himself fought under the Black Prince, 
son of Edward III at the Battle of Poitiers in 1356, lived nearby at Fedudeg and died about 1370 to 80. And he is depicted in armour of the period, dating from the third quarter of the 14th century. So very, very special thing to see here especially for people like myself who enjoy early church history and architecture. Um, we can learn much from the inside arrangements of this church and most people that come appreciate a quiet place in which to sit and think and pray. And like I said earlier, people from all over the world come to this church to see what's inside. So there we are, I think we'll leave it there for today from Better Sequoid, which translated means prayer house in the woods and is thought to refer to this 14th century St Michael's Church where the yew trees are so old, this historic church. So, like I said, we'll leave it there and we'll say ta-ta for now. Hope you've enjoyed yourselves here in Better Sequoid and we'll see you on the next adventure or the next Welsh lesson or the next Welsh history lesson. But don't forget to keep practising your Welsh because practice makes perfect. Again, once again, sorry for my voice. It's a bit hoarse, but we'll leave it there and we'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now. Nostar.